Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is about getting a fader when you're clicking and dragging values. So this is sometimes useful. It's not always useful but it's sometimes useful and I find it easier to do which is a bit weird because actually in terms of the control sometimes it's not as good in terms of resolution. Anyway it's basically any of these controls here where you can click and drag them up and down. If you hold down the alt key and do that you get a fader and you can find this useful in terms of certainly knowing the relative range of what you've done on some controls it gives you more resolution on some it gives you less that can be useful because obviously if you want to adjust this very quickly down to the maximum or up to the sorry up to the maximum or down to the minimum then you can do it with much less mouse movement because you're only moving over this small range but it does do that at the cost of some precision this works on a number of controls so if we open up this here and click on this part, you can see it's going to work on velocity exactly the same, but you can see the range goes from zero to 127, as you'd expect. It also works on channel and for channel, you actually get better resolution. So sometimes I find the channel, you know, here you can see I've got to move my mouse very little to get that. Sometimes that's a little tricky to get right. So the, the place I do use this is on setting MIDI channels because that gives me nice stepped resolution, makes it much easier to get that right. So that's your quick tip for today. I hope you found that useful. You can find somewhere where you'll be able to use that and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.